Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I've currently got the biggest grin on my face that she can't stop smiling. You have all seen from the title of this video what it is gonna be about. I'm really like, I'm all hot and flustered because I'm all excited and I've basically only just got home. Um, but long story short, I have wanted a pet for the longest time. Me and Harry have wanted to get a pet for a while and we just weren't sure if it was like, sensible because of going away on holidays and things like that but we don't have anything planned now apart from board masters so yeah we've wanted a pet for a really really long time and when i was a kid i had hamsters and then i had gerbils and i always loved having like a tiny little pet i just there's just something about it that i love and this morning i basically <clears throat> losing my voice this morning i went food shopping and i something in me told me to go and look around pets at home um so i did that and i completely fell in love with a tiny little hamster now i sent harry loads of photos and i messaged my mum and was like look at this little hamster i fell in love with i really wish i'd got him um and i came home and i felt really really sad harry came home on his lunch break and i told him about it and he was like why don't you get it and i was like oh i don't know like i don't know if it's sensible blah blah, blah. anyway so he left went back to work and I was like really down and like oh, I really want the hamster um anyway and then I spoke to my mum on FaceTime and basically came to the conclusion that why don't we just get it so I haven't told Harry um I literally haven't spoken to him since he left for lunch and I called up the shop and I asked if it was still there and they said yes so I literally drove over as quick as I could and I bought us a little hamster I thought I would introduce you guys to her. I actually thought it was a him. They said on the phone that it was a little boy. And then when I got there, they were like, oh no, it's a girl. So I was like, either way, I don't mind. Um, and then I spent ages in the shop with a lovely girl who helped me out and helped me like choose the cage and everything. And yeah, I've got a hamster and Harry doesn't even know about it. <laughs> I think he's going to be really excited. He's never actually had a pet before, um, but when I showed him the photos early, he was like, oh, it's really sweet, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I know he'll love it. I just don't think he's going to be expecting it at all. So anyway, yeah, I drove there. I got the hamster. We're back home. Um, it took me a while to set up the cage, and I still haven't actually figured out, like, the extra layers that go in it. So I've just done the bare minimum. Um, she's got food. She's got water. She's got all of her bedding and stuff ready. And yeah, I put her in the cage. So I'm going to introduce you guys and I'm also going to film his reaction later on when he gets back from work. I actually can't believe this is happening. Like, we've got a pet, guys. We've actually got a pet. Yeah, we haven't chosen a name yet, obviously, because Harry doesn't even know that we've got her. So we'll choose a name this evening and I'll let you guys know it in this video. Um, but yeah, I guess I need to just introduce you guys to her. So the cage is actually really big. Um, when I had hamsters when I was younger, we never had a cage this big, but the lady in the shop said that this is the size you have to have apparently for a hamster. Um, anyway, here she is. Say hi to your new friends. Say hello. She's a little climber. Literally, when I went into the shop, all of the other hamsters were just like asleep in their cages. And she was like scratching at the glass, chewing at it, trying to get out. And I just... Oh my gosh, I think she's so sweet. Are you stuck? Are you stuck up there? Oh, there we go. Not anymore. Right, I'll show you guys what she looks like so you can hopefully see a bit better. Say hello. Oh god, I'm really scared she's going to come out. <laughs> she is actually quite big. Apparently, she's nine to ten weeks old, so I'll like figure out her birthday so that we have a birthday for her. Um, but yes, she's got her food in there. There's literally like a whole giant peanut, which I'm sure she'll put in her cheeks at some point. I honestly forgot that hamsters like put things in their like cheek pouches and then they keep them in there. Look at her exploring away, aren't you? Having a great time. She's been so good so far. I am slightly worried that she's going to chew through this cage because when I got home, I googled it to see, like figure out how to put it together. Because um, like I said, there's actually another layer, but I just can't figure it out. There's also a wheel and stuff, so we'll do that at some point. But I just wanted to get her in it. She's going to fall again. There we go. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, she's so cute. But yeah, um, I was googling the cage to see if there was instructions and everyone was just like, my hamster's chewed through the plastic. So fingers crossed she doesn't chew through this anytime soon. Um, but yeah, here she is. I've been advised to leave her alone for like 24 hours and kind of not like try and put my, you know, hands in the cage and try and pick her up and stuff. So I'm going to leave her alone for a bit, but she's just exploring. I'm going to put um, some music on like quite quietly in a minute just so that she gets used to like noise and stuff because I don't want her to get used to 
complete silence and then get scared if ever we do stuff. She doesn't seem scared at all right now. She seems quite inquisitive. So, um, yeah, I'm sure she'll continue being like that. Oh, my gosh, I just can't get over how cute she is. Hey. I need to start thinking of a name. Oh, gosh, I'm scared she's going to come out. But anyway, yes, so this is our new little pet. I'm honestly so excited. Um, and, yeah, the next thing will be Harry's reaction. He should be here any second now. So I'm just gonna sit on the sofa and pretend like nothing's happening. Hello. Hi. Oh, I don't know why I thought you were gonna try. <laughs> Did you buy it? Oh my god. I thought you there was someone was gonna be there. That's embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. It's a girl. What's it called? I haven't named her. I'll name her. Oh my goodness. We got a you can't use that in the video. I have to. Can I reenact it? No, you can't reenact oh, it. Oh, I jumped at nothing. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to see you jump. I can literally see myself. What do you mean? Yeah, but you you've jumped over there, so it might not be in it. Oh. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're sick. Now what did you? What happened? What? So. I'll turn this off. Oh. Did you just get her? Yeah, just the one. It's a massive cage, isn't it? The woman wouldn't let me buy a smaller cage. She was like, it has to be this big for a hamster. <laughs> hey, babes. Mm. You like her? Yeah. <laughs> Careful, she might bite you if you put your finger in. You can put it near, but just not through the bar or she might bite. Because you're not used to us yet, are you? She still hasn't slept. She's just been trying to make a bed. And then, actually, she fell asleep in her food bowl. And I felt really bad because she didn't have a bed. But it's because she has to make one herself. She looks stunned, but she's just really chilled out. Aren't you? You're just telling me. No, I haven't quite trained her yet. So guys, I thought we'd quickly pick up the camera and show you the progress. I think we've had her for just over a week now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't even really remember what I filmed the first day we got her. It was a complete blur. I literally just remember wanting to film Harry's reaction. Oh, she just bit me. Hello. Please don't do that. Which she did successfully. Yeah, I did get that on camera. Um, but yeah, we've come a long way. Like she is so... Oh, she's literally biting my boob. Ow, oh, please don't do that. Please don't bite mm, me. Mmm, bit of flesh. Please don't bite my boob. Good girl. <laughs> okay, I think she might be getting a bit scared. It's because I'm tempting fate by saying she's doing well. Yeah, we've had her like over a week now. Um, and we've been handling her. We let her settle in for a bit. And then for the last like three days, we've handled her every day just to get her used to it. Um, but she is doing so well. That's actually the first time she's ever bitten me out of the cage. So that's good. Was only On camera one. as well. Only a little one, wasn't it? She's probably like, why are you just holding me? Like, what am I supposed to be doing? I'm going to go on my legs. I'm going go on my legs. No? Happy on my hand? Okay. She's just interested in everything. But yeah, she's doing really well. Um, and we love her to bits. I can't even remember if I announced her name because we weren't sure on the name to start with. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen that we've called her Mimi. I think we're both happy with that name, but yeah, she's very, yeah. she's very sweet, um, and she is very greedy. She likes lots of different foods, don't you? She likes eating spinach and blueberries and carrots, and she likes running around in her ball, and yeah, she basically just sleeps all day, um, and then she wakes up at about 8 p.m., like 7, 8 in the evening, and then you're awake for the whole night, aren't you? Yes, you are. But I've just been trying to get her out like this pretty much every evening just to get her used to being handled because I don't want you to be scared, do we? So this is her second time in the ball. She tends to just gravitate towards the kitchen area um, and then she'll get stuck in a corner. <laughs> and then she doesn't quite know how to get herself out of it. But um, I think she likes it. This ball, by the way, is rubbish. We bought it from Pets at Home the other day. It honestly took Harry about half an hour to get it together because it was such bad quality. 
um, and it still isn't actually put together like that well you probably can't see it on the camera but it's got like a weird bit that kind of sticks out and it hasn't clipped in properly so i'm a bit scared about her being in it because i'm scared that she's going to get out um but it is pretty secure like she's been in it a few times now and she seems to be fine um now she's going to be stuck in this corner mimi what are you doing 